Next, I'm going to look at uh, the fifth and final example for 2D projectile motion. Here we have a ball thrown into the air such that V0x and V0y are both 25 meters per second. We want to know how high does it go and how far is it from its starting position. Okay. So we're going to draw a picture. I'm going to let positive y be up and positive x be to the right, just as I have done with every example. The ball is initially launched like this, and we want to know what is it doing at the top of its trajectory. How high does it go? Okay. Now, at the very tippy top, the velocity is only horizontal. Remember from the work we did on the 1D projectile motion, when you get to the top of the motion, the vertical velocity goes to zero. Okay? That is a key to doing this problem. Okay. We also know our acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity downward. And we can start thinking about our grocery list at this point. told is V0x and V0y are both 25 meters per second. So let's put those in. Okay. We know, because we're looking at the top of the trajectory, Vy has to be zero. Vx, however, is going to be constant from V0x because the acceleration in that direction is zero. A sub y will be a negative 10 meters per second squared. X naught and Y naught we don't know. However, we're free to put our zeros wherever we want. So I'm putting them at the initial position. Okay. Let's look at what we want to know. We want to know Y and we want to know X. Okay. So we want to know X and Y. We don't know T. We don't need T to answer the questions from the problem. However, you will see we need to find it in order to answer the, the actual questions. So it's not asked for, but you got to do it anyway. Writing down our constant acceleration equations, again, just so we have them to refer to. So here we are. I need to find y and x. That involves the top two equations, both of which depend on t. As I said, I don't need t for this question to get the answer, except I can't find the answer if I don't find it. Luckily for us, we can find t using the bottom equation. So Vy at the top goes to 0. V not y we were given as 25. A sub y is a negative 10. Okay. So I'm going to move the 10t to the other side. So t equals 2.5 seconds. I can now use the top two equations to find the actual answers to the question. How far and how far does it go? Okay, so initial position is 0 because I assumed it to be. V naught x is 25 and I need to multiply that by 2.5. A sub x is 0. If you put that into your calculator, 25 times 2.5 is 62.5 meters. Okay. 
using the middle equation to find the vertical position. We assumed y naught was 0. v naught y is 25. t is 2.5 still. a sub y is negative 10, so I move the negative sign out in front. And t is still 2.5. 25 times 2.5, as we found above, is 62.5. One half of 10 times 2.5 squared turns out to be negative 31.25, which gives us a total height of 31.25 meters.